Pat McGowan was born in Bangor, Maine. He's a Democrat that graduated from UMF in 76, the only graduate from UMF in the place. His latest job was commissioner of the Maine Department of Conservation, which he was for the last seven years. Um, when he was in the state legislature, he sponsored the bill for the Land for the Maine Future, which preserves 600,000 acres of Maine land put in conservation. Uh, Pat has owned four small businesses in southern Maine. Uh, he's also a pilot and average outdoorsman, and he's married with four children. Two of his daughters went to Farmington, Chelsea, and uh, Caitlin. And uh, that's it. Thank you, Pat. <laughs>
uh, in the last year or so. You've driven by businesses that we have built, my family and I have built, uh, uh, over the last 20 years, whether it be a 25-unit motel, uh, a country store, we owned a fuel oil business, and uh, that was the quickest way I, I ever found to lose money in my life, was to own a fuel oil business. And, uh, but all of that was education uh, in, in the business sector. But uh, um, I bring this experience and offer it to the voters this year as I run for governor. I see Maine in a different way. I see it as a place that has uh, conservation, working forest, and jobs connected to renewable energy, and it's connected to the future families and communities. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a proposal that I have called the Great Maine Forest. And it's a proposal that I worked on as Commissioner of Conservation and have taken it into uh, my campaign for governor. What does it mean? It means that in a very short period of time, this state has licensed about 400 megawatts of renewable wind power in this state. We will license and build another 400 megawatts of renewable wind power in the next year. And we want to make sure that we're, when we build this clean, renewable power, that we're not sending it all to some other place and not having the benefit of it here in Maine. As governor, I will ensure that those renewable megawatts, whether they come from wind power or from biomass, the, we have the, the most heavily forested state in the United States here in the state of Maine. And unfortunately, we're sending a lot of that wood, that good forest, to Canada. And all of the value is being added in Canada. The, the people that are coming in are cutting it, the equipment that's coming in is harvesting it, and the, and the wood is being trucked across, and the value added in another border and brought back to us. My initiative called the Great Maine Forest will connect renewable energy and certified fiber. We're going to talk about that in just, in just a second. But renewable energy and fiber so that it once again arrives at a community and to a family and to a job. And that job will be sustained over the next several years. We know that businesses that buy paper from Maine, buy pulp and paper from Maine, want more certified product. They've told us this. And who am I talking about? Land's End, Time Inc. Paper Company, The Hearst Group, Fortune Magazine, Sports Illustrated, name a catalog company, uh, the Limited, Victoria's Secret, they are the largest catalog company in the world. They want 100% certified paper and fiber from the state of Maine, and they're getting about half of that right now. I will ensure that we have 100% products available for those buyers of paper. We are producing more paper today than at any time in our state's history. I think, Tom, we're still number two in the country in making paper. What are those jobs? Those are the best jobs that we have in Maine. And we might need to make sure that we still have them, whether they're in Madison, or Skowhegan, or Rumford, or Jay, or Millinocket, or Old Town, or Westbrook, or Madawaska, or Lincoln. Those jobs are jobs that are worth fighting for and worth saving, and I have a plan to save those jobs and to keep them going. Now, what, what else does it mean? It means that if we link certified fiber and renewable energy to these mills and communities, that the state of Maine will have green jobs. We'll have the green jobs of the future. And so when President Obama talks about five million green jobs in America, we will have 100,000 of those green jobs right here in the state of Maine. Whether it be working in a pulp and paper mill, or driving a truck with a load of lumber, or cutting, operating a, a harvester, or a delimmer, or these jobs will be the green jobs, or building renewable wind power or biomass. We have tremendous opportunities in that regard. We leave about 3 million tons of wood on the floor of the forest every year. Some of that we need to leave on the floor because we need to replenish the, sto replenish the, uh, the soil. But the other, other, a, a good portion of that, we can pick that wood up, the limbs and the tops, the woody biomass, and we can grind it and make low-grade chips to burn biomass to create renewable energy and to make low-grade pellets. Those are real opportunities that are here today. They are here now. They're not futuristic. We will build 5,000 megawatts of offshore wind 
At some point in this state's future, we need to have a regulatory environment that, it, that will allow it to happen. And I will be part of that change as the governor of Maine.